let's briefly discuss what's going on in Canada because my buddy just returned and stated that his nieces in school in a rural outpost of Alberta, the most conservative province in Canada, 20 minutes away from Calgary, where ranchers and farmers send their children in a class of 400 people, middle schoolers, eight of them identify as furries. They identify as cats. They will meow together, rub up against each other. Did you guys remember this ever taking place at your school when you were growing up? Why is this suddenly happening? This is a mental deficiency. It is a mental mind virus that is infecting people and is coming from those who seek to normalize it, who have a mental pathology that they want to extend to the rest of the population. And with the youth, they have sponges that absorb this information, which is why when you tell people in third grade, second grade kindergarten about drag queens and invite them to their classes, that this kind of corrupts the minds and becomes normalized for them. And these pathologies are intentionally implanted into the rest of the population by those who are absolutely miserable and want to extend their own sickness, misery loves company, into others. That is what you're seeing going on. And the Canadian government, of course, is encouraging this over and over again. You cannot criticize trans people. You cannot misgender somebody or you go to jail. <laughs> and that's what they're trying to do in New York right now, where they want to abolish hate speech from social media and hold social media responsible as if we want these types of people determining what is hate speech. Because, of course, hate speech does exist but it is also protected by the First Amendment. And it doesn't matter what you think. This is a violation of our Bill of Rights, our sanctity that was provided by our founding fathers that we are the envy of the world with. And if you see, again, what Turdeau is doing in his country, taking away the right to defend yourself with firearms. And according to Petland, which is the big supplier for pets, the store in Calgary, at least, there is great demand for adult-sized litter boxes. This pathology, this sickness, is just extending itself throughout the population at the same time as they are directing people who might be depressed to medically-assisted suicide in Canada in order to save money so that they continue to spend it willy-nilly and hand it out to their political constituents to help children get mutilated via state-sponsored trans surgeries. Canada is a very sick place. And you're just seeing it. I'm just reporting on it. You guys decide if you want to live in a society where children are identifying as cats, where drag queens are welcome to come in in sexualized outfits and perform for little children.